This is the so-called Rayet head, a 31 cm high, head of an archaic kuras dating to about 520 BC. It is made of Parian marble and was found in the early 1870s in Athens, near the Karamikos, which means that it originally most likely belonged to a funerary statue. In 1879, it was bought by Carl Jacobson from the Rayet Collection, from which it has its name. It is displayed in the new Carlsberg Glyptotech in Copenhagen, of which Carl Jacobson was the first director. There are remains of red paint on the hair, the lips, and the eyeballs. The latter bulge out extremely, as do the cheeks. This distinguishes the piece from earlier Kuroi. The mouth shows the characteristic archaic smile. The hair is made of short, crescent-shaped locks, which look like a tightly fitting knitted cap. If you look at the head from the side, you see that the ears are rendered unusually fleshy. They are clearly meant to represent cauliflower ears. This condition of a swollen external ear is a result of continuous blunt trauma. This leads to the suggestion that the piece represents the head of a martial arts fighter, for example in pancreation, which roughly can be compared to today's mixed martial arts. Sometimes, such fighters also have cauliflower ears nowadays. There is a statue base in the National Archaeological Museum of Athens, the so-called ballplayer base. It was found near the Dipolon, an ancient city gate near the Karamikos. This base has reliefs on three of its sides, which show athletes playing ball, wrestling, and preparing for other athletic competitions. The athletes' hairstyles on these reliefs also look like knitted caps and so are similar to the hairdo of the rayed head. Because of this, some scientists think it's possible that the kuros to which the rayed head belonged originally stood on the so-called ballplayer base. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe so you won't miss new ones.